there friends I'm here today with my April favorites it seems insane that it's actually May and I know that I say that every month but this month I really mean it because May is the month that I graduate which is insane um, but let's go ahead and get started I have a couple of makeup items a book a song a couple of fashion items to share with you guys this week just a really quick favorites um, I didn't like use that much new stuff in April to be honest but I wanted to share with you what I do have and let me know down in the comments below what you've been loving in the month of April. To start off I have three makeup products that I want to talk about and they're actually all eyeliners which I know is a little weird but um, I'm going to start with talking about the Stila liner. I think that's how you say it, Stila. I have the Stila liner Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. It's what I'm wearing today. I wear it most days. It's amazing. I love this so much. I bought it because I ran out of my Kat Von D tattoo liner, which is the one that I like swear by. And we don't have a Sephora here and the Ulta doesn't sell Kat Von D products, which drives me insane. Um, so I decided to uh, try this because my friend Julie had recommended it to me this summer. And it's just, it's a very similar tip to the Kat Von D. Um, really, really precise um, felt tip. And I just think it's great. It stays on really well. It goes on super smoothly. It's like really inky. Well, it's not ink, it's, it's liquid eyeliner, but you know what I mean. Um, and I think it's like $21, so not bad uh, for how long I think it's going to last. The next thing is actually another liquid black eyeliner because that's all that I ever wear. This is the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Precision Micro Eyeliner. And I'm a big fan of this, actually. I used to use this back in the day. Um, it's just, again, a felt tip. Um, really, really precise, so this is really good for drawing like tiny lines. Um, like, especially if you're not trying to make a thick line, if you want just, like, a really thin line, this is really good. I was actually sent this by Influencer in my, um, box that I got in April, so it was sent to me complimentary for review, but as I said, this is one that I actually had used before, and I, you know, probably wouldn't have gone out and purchased it again, but I'm so glad that I have it now, and I, like, totally should have, because it's just a really good eyeliner from the drugstore. Now my last one that I want to talk to you about is something very different for me. I got it in my Ipsy uh, for the month of April and it's this ColourPop cream gel liner and I don't know what this color, oh Mr. Bing is the color. It makes me think of Chandler Bing so I like that. Um, but it's kind of a like maroony brown color and I typically never use anything but liquid but I've been really liking this on days where I don't wear much makeup um, like if I'm not putting on eyeshadow or anything this is really nice actually um, so very nice to have in my collection and of course I love the brand ColourPop because who doesn't the next thing I want to talk about is a pair of pants um, I've had quite a saga over the past like, month and a half because my beloved Topshop black ripped jeans got a rip in the thigh which is not where you want rips um, so I had to get rid of them. I tried ordering a new pair, but they didn't fit like the old ones did, and I was devastated. Then I went to Hollister, and no, I'm not sponsored by Hollister, but if Hollister wants to sponsor me, they're welcome to. Um, these are the Hollister Jean Legging High Rise. Um, they're amazing. So they're black. They're like fabric, though, not denim, which is what I really wanted because everywhere that I was looking only had like denim black jeans, and I like them to be really comfy because I like to wear them whenever I feel kind of blech or like... If I feel kind of bloated or something, they're perfect. These have rips um, in the knees, and but they're like, you know, fairly standard ripping. Um, they're super stretchy. I love them so much. They're high-waisted like I love, and they just look cute with everything. Um, and these, I believe, are cropped. I don't know. I'm really short, and they hit me in the right place, so that probably means that they're cropped. My other fashion item for this month is a pair of shoes that I actually got last year. Or was it the year before? I think it was last year. Um, but they're these sandals. I'm going to try and find something similar. These are from Nordstrom's. I don't know what brand they are. The brand is Mia. Um, I believe it's a, let's see, these are in a six and a half. Um, but there's these really chunky sandals. They're actually really heavy. But I got back from the UK after I studied abroad my sophomore year. Yeah. And I really, really, really wanted a pair like this because everyone over there had them um, in Scotland. And they're super cool. They pair with everything. I like them because they're a sandal, but they're a little bit edgier I want to say edgier grungy or something like that I don't really know they're not preppy so I like them um but they just have these buckles on the sides here and then they actually zip up the back which is super easy to get into they've got a little bit of a chunky heel which is nice for short girls like me who just want a little bit more height so they can be on eye level with some people um but they're basically perfect and they're so comfortable the next thing that I want to share with you guys is this book um as you can see I'm not super far into it only on page 94 
but I love it thus far. It's called Duel with the Devil, the true story of how Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr teamed up to take on America's first sensational murder mystery by Paul Collins. And it's a really narrative account of the first like big sensational murder trial in America, um, which was for this girl named uh, Elma Sands, who was found dead in the well. Um, and it's about how her suitor was convicted. Um, he was like this young, I think he was even like a Quaker or something, Levi Weeks. And so Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr end up teaming up to uh, take on his case. And it really goes into what New York City was like uh, right at the birth of our new nation. And kind of what the politics of the city were, how Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr were political rivals. So obviously as a Hamilton fan, I love this, but also just as a history student, it's fascinating. Um, I'm started reading it. I got this far just whenever I was at uh, the National Conference for Undergraduate Research, which I did a vlog for you may have seen, um, and I'm really hoping to get to finish it after my exams end. And the final thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is actually a song. Um, it's from Great Comet. Surprise, surprise. I am obsessed with Great Comet. Um, I'm actually filming this on Tuesday, which is Tony Nominations Day, so very proud of Great Comet for their 12 nominations leading all the shows this year. But the song is called Dust and Ashes. It was written for um, whenever the show moved to Broadway. Um, and Josh Groban actually recorded a single of it, so you can buy, go on iTunes and buy it now. Um, but it also will come out on the album May 19th, whenever the Broadway album releases. Um, but it's, it's so good. It's so good. Josh Groban's so lovely on it. It's such an interesting song because it's called Dust and Ashes, and it's kind of about um, Pierre's struggles with, I guess you would say, depression. Um, and kind of him wanting to come out of that. And it's just one of the most brilliant moments in the entire show, I think. Josh is beautiful, beautiful on this song. Um, and I've been jamming to it. Like, it doesn't sound like the kind of thing that would be a jam, but it totally is a jam. So you can go buy it now on iTunes or check it out. It might be on Spotify, I'm not positive, um, or Apple Music or something like that. But you also can get it May 19th, whenever the rest of the album releases. If any of you saw my Great Comet review, you may remember me finding the CD in the back of my Great Comet book. It was on there, and now I listen to it all the time. <laughs> That's actually all that I had for the month of April. I know it's kind of a short favorites video, but hoping to have more stuff to share with you in May. Um, and until then, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content. Um, especially, I'm doing a lot of theater content, hopefully coming up. And of course, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because it would make my day. I honestly, whenever I see that I've gotten thumbs up on a video, I'm so happy. So if you want to make me happy, it's an easy way to do it. <laughs> Otherwise, I will see you guys next week with a new video on Wednesday. Bye. I love these jeans so much. I almost cried in the store. I was so happy.